Hey friends, how are you? My name is Michael. I'm from the Helpful Dad YouTube channel and today we're going to look at some ways to better sort your search results on Google. And before I get started, I just want to let you know that um, we are from this particular channel on YouTube, The Helpful Dad. Uh, that's me in the picture with my son. We do a lot of different videos like this to help you with little tips, whether it be about electronics like these Bose headphones, mud races, uh, tips about dogs, uh, stuff for dogs, etc., etc. You can check it out for yourself, but we got a lot of different stuff. If this video is helpful to you, consider subscribing to the channel, or if you see something that we're not talking about that you think will be helpful, put that in the comment section. Maybe you can help us out by liking the video or sharing it. There are a lot of different ways we can help each other. Other. And if you don't like the video, put that in the comments too so we can obviously try to improve. But today, let's get started on searching with Google. I love Google. It's the primary search engine I use. I believe so much in the company that I actually invest in the company. So uh, I'm a very big believer in Google. But one of the frustrating things is when you're searching for stuff, sometimes you can't find what you're looking for. So I want to give you some examples and some ways to use the search engine better. Let's say, for example, you're a student researching the stock market crash of 2008 as I was doing before this video here. And let's say instead of getting the results that come up automatically, in this case we're going to get stuff from 2014, 2012, etc, etc. What if you wanted to know what was actually happening in the news at that time? Do you know how to sort these results? And, and maybe you do, and this is not this is not a helpful video to you, but I didn't know how to do this, so I wanted to make a video to help people. If you come over here to the search tools where my cursor is at, click on search tools. Now you can sort the results by date. So you can get stuff from the past hour, past week, month, year, or you can also use a custom range. So if I wanted to do my little uh, thing from 2008, I can go back here and just type in whatever I want. Let's just do the whole year. And these are the results that I'm going to get now. There you go, October 2008. December 2008, September, December, all 2008. So now, as again, as a student, I can see what was actually happening at that time. Maybe I'm writing a paper on it and I want to do some research in that particular era. Uh, let me give you another example, okay? Um, a bit more relevant here. We'll do, uh, I think I was doing this one too, Peyton Manning commercials here, okay? Now, if we wanted to see from 2008, that's already pre-filled for us, so we can see anything back from that time, right? but maybe we don't necessarily want something from there. We want something a little bit more current. Remember that one he did with Eli where they were doing some sort of a rap or something like that? It wasn't in the past week or month, I don't think. That's probably gonna be the Papa John stuff. And we can go click on videos here and see the videos. Yeah, there's the Papa John stuff. But the, the rap with Eli was probably in the past year. Yep, there it is. See, look, drop a rap video, okay? so. That is one way that you can use these search tools to better filter the results and pinpoint the exact time period that you want. So I just gave you a couple examples. Obviously, there's a lot more than that. But you may, I didn't know about this search tool filter here. Uh, maybe there's other things as well, too, that we can discover together. So if this was helpful to you, again, please let us know. If you've got another tip, put that in the comments section. But we do appreciate you watching from the Helpful Dad channel and hope this was helpful to you. God bless you.